Hello, lifers. Yep, you heard right. You know, I was thinking that four collectives thing wasn't working all that well. A couple of them were not watched at all. And, you know, the other ones, not all that much. Although, I do want to say thank you, Karina. Thank you so much for being so generous with your comments and your thumbs uppers. And so I decided to put those into a collective's playlist and just pretend I never did it. <laughs> so I hope you'll understand, you know, four uploads for, you know what I'm saying anyway. So I decided to just put several cards into one pull when I upload and save myself a little bit of babysitting the computer. And then I thought, well, you know, there should be some kind of name. And so since this is Life Starts With Love, you get lifers. But if you have another suggestion for something else, I would be very open to hearing it. So now I am going to start with cards from Oracle of Mystical Moments. And I have just thrown together some very different decks. Change of Seasons. In the center of this card stands a woman surrounded by blowing leaves, flowers, and snowflakes. As the wind blows them swirling up to her, she raises an arm in protection or welcome. We're not sure. This card reminds us that seasons change just as we do. Nothing is ever still. Not a river, not a mighty oak, and certainly not us. We are in a constant state of transformation. Even when we feel overwhelmed, if we can just quietly be, we will be moving in spite of ourselves. When life whirls around us, let the certainty of the cycle of seasons be a grounding force. And the next one is called The Observer. A woman is looking through an old-fashioned camera, ready to take a photograph. She observes the landscape before her. All is quiet. All is peaceful. We don't know how long this woman has been waiting for the perfect shot. She has the patience to remain focused until the decisive moment presents itself. Strength lies in her calmness. She lives in the present and does not get easily distracted. So I'm going to say she must not have ADHD. What do you think? All right. And now from Crystal Spirits. Your first card is Diamond. The essential meaning is the priceless gift of time and pressure combined. Beauty and strength arising from trials and challenges the right use of power. As co-creators with our fellow beings, we are meant to work together harmoniously, giving and receiving, taking turns and sharing the work, the credit, the fun, and the power of manifestation. Today, you are called to claim your power and exercise it with respect and love for all, even those who are hard to love, especially those who challenge you. You never know what silent struggles people are hiding, and your ability to express love is magnified by diamond spirit today. So listen to that part of you that wants to be kind and understanding towards someone who is making it difficult for you to come from your highest self. Diamond spirit has appeared to let you know that this is a moment to wield your power mindfully. You have earned wisdom over time as you have suffered much in your life and now are in a place of maturity and understanding. Avoid being reactive, for there is strength in quiet, loving gestures, such as the willingness to listen or to say, I am so sorry that you are in this situation. Often it is these gentle actions that hold the most power. Your ability to move hearts is very strong right now, 
So even as you maintain healthy boundaries, make the choice to own your power and use it with wisdom and grace. In so doing, you align with the conscious universe who knows the healing power of love and compassion. Sorry if I sounded funny there for a minute. I got kind of choked up reading that. Now, this card also has a message that goes with relationships. Your ability to act lovingly is strong today, amplified by Diamond Spirit. You're filled with love and capable of deep compassion, even as you speak the truth about how others' behavior affects you. Use your power to set firm boundaries, to say no and mean it, to listen with an open heart and open mind before making a decision, and to express compassion without giving up your integrity. All this wells up from the wisdom you have earned from your previous challenges. You do know better now. At the same time, be sure you do not come on so strong that others feel intimidated. Forcefulness is not necessary. Pay attention to whether someone seems afraid to contradict you, for you might unwittingly be discouraging them for owning their power. Be loving, be strong, be compassionate, and exercise right use of power with everyone you connect with today. That was a powerful card. Wow. And the other one from this deck is a name I don't really know how to pronounce. Let's just go with Euclis. Euclase? I don't know. I see a guy in there. Do you? Do you see a guy in there? Huh. Anyway, essential meaning is wisdom from within, inner truth, aligning with divine intelligence, trusting your own earned wisdom. When you are distracted by all the noise and stimulation that are part of our lives now, it can be hard to trust that you have what it takes to make wise choices. The appearance of Euclid's spirit is a sign that valuable insights can be found through tapping into your intuitive intelligence. When it comes to knowing the truth, there is no substitute for lived experience that has been recalled and examined. Through a process of alchemy, your experiences have generated wisdom that can guide you when you feel bleh, bleh. Okay, sorry, I am not going to start all over, so you're going to have to put up with that little tongue twist faux pas, I guess we'll say. <laughs> your experiences have generated wisdom that can guide you when you feel lost or confused. You know more than you think. Trust your inner wisdom, for it is guided by the conscious universe. You are learning that fear can distort your intuitive intelligence, so release any worry and tune in within. You have a vast library of knowledge available to you and wise and loving guidance that will help you. And then for the relationship message with this same card, Understanding the people you love and care about isn't always easy, especially when you become aware that you still have much to learn about yourself. All of us have hidden gifts we have yet to acknowledge. They are easier to discover when you look through the eyes of love, guided by an inner wisdom that reminds you that we are all on a healing journey, just at different places on the road. Listen to your intuitive intelligence about your relationships, for it is the conscious universe and not wishful thinking that will bring truth about other people and about yourself into your awareness. And lastly, if I can find it on the mess here on my desk. We have a couple messages from messages from the mermaid. And the first one is light. Shine your light 
for all to see. You're like a lighthouse, and your light can illuminate any dark areas of your life. This mermaid reminds you to shine your light wherever you go and not to be shy. She reminds you to be aware that light is attractive to others and acts rather like a magnet, drawing others to it like moths to a flame. Sometimes we feel as if our light is missing, but in truth it's always there. Even when we stand in the shadows, the light is there to guide us. Perhaps your inner shadows are being revealed so they can be exposed to the divine light of your soul. It could be the right time to explore shadow work, a shamanic practice. When light is present, darkness can't exist. This isn't to say that darkness is bad. Far from it, in fact. For in the darkness, gestation occurs. And in the womb-like sanctuary of darkness, ideas are formed and protected. It's important to remember that both light and dark are necessary for growth. A seed grows in darkness before it reaches for and is nurtured by the light. Are you being called to shine your light for others? To show them the way physically, mentally, or spiritually? For when your light shines fully, you have the ability not only to illuminate your own path, but also the paths of others. If you feel your light is dimming, it's time for self-care. Nurture yourself with relaxation, meditation, and the healthy nutrition of fresh foods until you feel your energy and light restored. And the last card is miracles. Nice. Be realistic and plan for a miracle. Be open to receiving miracles in your life. Perhaps you are a miracle for someone else. The mermaid asks you to prepare for incoming miracles. Miracles can manifest in many ways and can occur when we least expect them. It's important to remain open to receiving miraculous happenings in your life and also to be grateful when they come. Perhaps you're someone else's miracle. Have you considered that your very presence could be the miracle someone else has been waiting or wishing for? Life can be full of minor and major miracles. We only have to open our hearts to the miraculous possibilities that are inherent within the beautiful universe. If you've been praying or wishing for a miracle, this card is a sign to say your prayers or wishes have been heard and to watch out for the signs. Maybe miracles are manifesting for you right now. If so, are you really ready and open to receiving them? You might think you are. However, it's also possible that you may have some blocks. It's worth really looking at this and working on yourself so you're mentally open and free to receiving any miracles as they appear on your path. Miracles aren't always grand gestures. Our lives are full of small miracles, such as waking up, breathing, walking, living in freedom, having food on our plate, good health, a roof over our head, and so on. In this respect, miracles aren't dissimilar to blessings. So as the message on the card says, be open to receiving miracles in your life. They can be a part of our everyday lives if we let them in. And that is all I have for today, guys. I hope that the cards resonated with you. I'd love to hear it if they did. And take care.